you have any brothers, sisters? I have a sister. Yeah. She's a, she's a writer in Washington, D.C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And your parents, they live, they, they're, they're my, still... My father passed four years okay, ago. I'm my sorry. mother is here in, uh, in Orange County. How did they feel as you as you got older for with the with the martial arts uh, way of life? You know, I think they just, uh, you know, there was a like I said, there was a, a bit of conflict, you know, in the beginning. But I think, like shortly after, like after Ninja Turtles, so that was you know in the nineties, it was, it is, is what it, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's me, you know. And they, you know, they always, it's about doing a good job, doing doing your work. Yeah. Don't, don't get big headed. Yeah, and then they see. They, I mean. They see now with my kids, it's like it's working. The mindset is working for mm -hmm. them, you know. It's, mm -hmm. And that's a big part of it for me too. Is is to is to hand down that mindset, you know. Is is to make it obvious because I think that's that's the difference with the different arts, and that's really what I what I wrestled with in the beginning of in what to start them in, because I feel like with if you take an art like like let's say taekwondo or something like that or a, a traditional karate mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm for a, tr a, a traditional Taekwondo or traditional karate class, you'll go there and the lessons, the, the, the spiritual lessons that you will learn are made very obvious. Where they will say, memorize this mantra, say it, you're here to learn, you know, character over kicks. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's very clean cut in why you're here, not just to kick, but you have to do this and this is the philosophy and you memorize all the tenets of it. So I like it for that, you know. I don't like it for other reasons, but I like it for that. With jujitsu, you don't really have that. It's not. It's a little more casual, mm -hmm. and um, it's like the lessons are there, but you kind of have to find them on your own, or you have a good coach who's going to verbalize them to you. Mm -hmm. You know. So for me, I try to verbalize those lessons to them. And make it more obvious so they understand. So you know, at the end of a class, it's like, oh, okay. So in this class, you know, what happened? You know, why why were you crying? What happened? And then we talk about it. So to me, it's really about trying to trying to to make the lessons obvious. So it's nothing. So they don't have to train for twenty years and like, oh, no, I got it. You know? Yeah. It's like give it to them now and make it clear of why we're doing this. You know? Reflect on it. Yeah. Talk about it. I actually make them do a contract every year contract yeah we have a contract so it, it started when they were yeah <laughs> they're they nodding, not yeah. in their heads yeah. yeah it started when they were five right so when they're five, five years old yeah so I, I i tricked them a little bit so what i did was i didn't start them in martial arts huh. because i figured when you're when you're a kid and you're just learning how to walk and talk and and learn coordination, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that the first thing you're going to do, you're going to suck at, most likely, right? Mm -hmm, Maybe mm -hmm. there's one or two percent that are going to be great at it and mm -hmm. love it. But most likely, you're going to suck at it, and then you're not going to like it. Mm. So I'm like, that's not going to be martial arts. You're going to start in gymnastics. So start in gymnastics. I sent them to a Russian school. They cried every class. They hated it. They cried. <laughs> they nodding their heads. Every <laughs> class. What did the coach call you? Chicken boy. They were, the coach was calling him chicken boys. Old school Russian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he was calling him chicken boys. <laughs> and I was like, and I was, you know, on, on the low key, like, keep going. I like this guy. You know, he's being he's being the the guy that I want them to be around, but I don't want it to be me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so they kept going until mom took them and said, No way, we're out of here. This guy's out of his out of his mind. But um, so we started them in that. And then I would take them to the boxing gym with me just mm. to watch me work out and then slowly we would play games you know in the ring just games like tag or whatever and then when they asked me if they could train i'd say not yet <laughs> not yet you're not you're not ready yet you're, you're not ready yet and so i kept holding it and i guess now now talking back right we're going through therapy it's the same thing that my parents did to me unknowingly mm wanting me to really, really, really want it. So then when it became available to me, it was like, I'm gonna jump into this. So then when they were about five and they said they wanted to train, I said, okay, so here's here's the deal. You have two choices. You have to make this decision now. You can change your mind later, but you make this decision, it's gonna be for a year. So the decision is, do you want to learn casually or do you wanna be a ninja? <laughs> You want to be a pro or, or do you want to be a casual? And you see their eyes light up <laughs> with big smiles on their face, nodding their heads yeah. when you're saying these th saying this. 
So, you know, and I told them what that meant. Being a casual means we're going to have fun. You're going to do it like two times a week, maybe three times a week. Mm -hmm. I won't drill with you unless you want me to. And that's it. You know, you want to be a ninja? I'm going to be on your I'm going to be on you. I'm going to correct every little mistake. We're still going to have fun, but then you're going to have to train 5 days a week. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "No, we want to we want to go this route." And so every year, like around this time, we're we're due, you know, beginning of the year, we have a verbal contract like, "Let's renew it. What do you want to do this year?" And it's up to them. And if they said, "I don't want to renew it," then we'll talk about it. 